security and battery life is what I am interested in. That single comment sums up exactly why the 2026 Pi Phone Fold is suddenly back in serious conversations. In 2026, foldable phones face two growing risks at the same time. Power demand keeps increasing, putting more stress on batteries, while phones also store more personal data than ever. Payments, authentication keys, work access, even car and home controls. Battery safety and device security are no longer separate issues. They're part of the same trust equation. That's why the Pi Phone Fold is getting attention again, not for cameras or AI buzzwords, but for its battery strategy and safety-first design. Two battery options are being discussed, aluminum ion and solid state, both tied directly to lower thermal risk and more predictable long-term behavior. But hardware safety is only half the story. The other half is how secure the device stays as it ages. So what does this mean for everyday users? Can new battery chemistry actually reduce long-term risk? How does battery design affect charging safety and data protection? That's what we're breaking down today. Why battery technology matters more than ever in 2026. Foldables. Foldable phones in 2026 are facing a fundamental problem. Power demand is going up faster than battery reliability. Larger inner displays, higher refresh rates, and constant background processes mean foldables regularly consume 6 to 8 watts during active use. That's significantly higher than traditional slab phones, which average around 4 to 5 watts. At the same time, internal space hasn't grown. Foldables still rely on thin, flexible pouch cells split into two sections to accommodate the hinge. Most current designs use dual-cell lithium-ion packs totaling between 4,500 and 5,000 milliamp hours, connected by flexible wiring that experiences mechanical stress every time the device is folded. This combination creates three long-term problems. Faster degradation, heat concentration near the hinge area, and reduced safety margins as the battery ages. After roughly 500 to 700 full-charge cycles, Many foldables begin to show noticeable capacity loss, slower charging, and increased heat during use. Battery incidents rarely happen in the first few months. They happen after a year or two, when chemical stability declines and internal resistance increases. That's exactly the scenario manufacturers want to avoid, especially for a device positioned as affordable and mass market. For Pi Phone Fold, expected to target a price range far below flagship foldables, battery reliability becomes mission critical. A single widespread battery issue would outweigh any cost advantage. This is why Pi Phone Fold's battery strategy for 2026 appears unusually conservative, focusing on chemistry stability rather than maximum energy density. Instead of pushing lithium-ion to its limits, Pi Phone Fold is exploring two alternatives that change the risk profile entirely, aluminum ion batteries and solid state batteries. So now let me ask you something simple. If you had to choose for your next foldable phone, would you prioritize battery safety or battery performance? Comment safe. If you care more about long-term reliability, cooler operation, and peace of mind when charging overnight. Comment fast. If you still want maximum performance and quicker charging, even if it means higher stress on the battery. And if you want, tell us why in the comments, real world reasons only. Also, we're pushing hard to reach 20,021 subscribers on Auto Gear Shift. We're close, but not quite there yet. And hitting that number unlocks a deeper breakdown most channels won't touch. If you value clear analysis over hype, help us cross that line. Subscribe and turn on notifications. Now, let's dive into two battery techs. Aluminum ion batteries are not new, but they've rarely been discussed for smartphones until now. Their biggest advantage is chemical stability. Aluminum does not form lithium dendrites, which are microscopic metal structures that grow inside traditional lithium ion cells and can cause internal short circuits over time. From a safety perspective, this is a major shift. Without dendrites, the probability of thermal runaway drops significantly, 
Even if the battery is physically stressed or aged, aluminum ion cells also operate at lower internal temperatures, often 10 to 15 degrees Celsius cooler under similar load compared to lithium ion cells. Energy density is lower, typically estimated between 120 and 160 watt hours per kilogram, compared to 240 to 260 watt hours per kilogram for modern lithium ion cells. That sounds like a drawback, but it aligns with Pi Phone Fold's priorities. Lower energy density means less stored energy per unit volume, which reduces fire risk and makes thermal management easier. Cycle life is where aluminum ion batteries stand out. Lab testing suggests potential lifespans of 2,000 to 3,000 charge cycles before significant degradation. For an average user charging once per day, that translates to five to eight years of usable life, far beyond the typical smartphone replacement cycle. Charging behavior also changes. Aluminum ion batteries tolerate frequent top-ups better and show less degradation from partial charging. While peak fast charging speeds may be lower than flagship lithium systems, sustained charging is more stable, with less heat buildup during long charging sessions. Solid state batteries represent the opposite philosophy. Instead of accepting lower energy density for safety, they aim to deliver both high capacity and improved safety by replacing liquid electrolytes with solid materials. In theory, solid state batteries eliminate leakage, reduce flammability, and allow energy densities exceeding 300 watt hours per kilogram. For a foldable phone, this could mean thinner battery packs longer runtime, or both. The challenge is manufacturing. Current solid-state pilot lines struggle with yield rates often below 70%, which is problematic for cost-sensitive products. Solid electrolytes are also more brittle, raising concerns about durability in devices that physically fold thousands of times over their lifespan. This suggests PiPhone Fold would likely use a conservative solid-state implementation if adopted at all lower capacity, thicker protective layers, and strict charging limits to preserve longevity. That approach sacrifices headline performance, but improves reliability. If executed carefully, solid-state batteries could offer 1.5 to 2 days of moderate use, with minimal degradation over time and significantly reduced fire risk compared to lithium-ion. How battery design directly impacts device security and long-term safety in 2026? In 2026, device safety can no longer be separated from device security. Power delivery, thermal behavior, and data protection are now tightly linked, especially in foldable phones that operate under higher mechanical and electrical stress than traditional slab designs. Most modern smartphones rely on lithium-ion batteries operating at nominal voltages between 3.7 and 3.85 volts with peak charging voltages reaching 4.4 to 4.5 volts during fast charging. These high voltages increase energy density, but they also narrow safety margins. As batteries age, internal resistance rises, often by 25 to 40 percent after about 500 full charge cycles, leading to higher heat generation under the same load. Heat is not just a comfort issue. Elevated internal temperatures above 45 degrees Celsius accelerate electrolyte breakdown and can destabilize power delivery to critical system components. In foldable phones, where heat dissipation is already limited by thinner chassis and hinge constraints, this creates cascading risks. Aluminum ion batteries reduce these risks by operating at lower effective energy density and more stable voltage curves. While their nominal voltage is similar, their thermal output under load can be 10 to 15 degrees Celsius lower compared to lithium ion cells delivering the same power. This thermal stability significantly reduces the likelihood of sudden voltage drops that can disrupt secure processes such as biometric authentication or encrypted storage access. Solid state batteries go a step further by eliminating liquid electrolytes altogether. Without volatile liquid components, the probability of leakage or combustion under mechanical stress drops sharply. 
Solid-state cells are also less prone to internal short circuits caused by separator degradation, which is a common failure mode in aging lithium-ion packs. From a security standpoint, stable power delivery is critical. Modern smartphones perform continuous background encryption, secure key storage, and hardware-based authentication checks that rely on uninterrupted voltage supply. Sudden power fluctuations, even lasting tens of milliseconds, can interrupt secure transactions, corrupt data, or force unsafe system resets. PiPhone Fold is expected to integrate a hardware-based secure enclave that operates independently from the main operating system. This enclave handles encryption keys, biometric data, and secure boot verification. For such a system to function reliably, it requires consistent voltage input, typically within a tolerance of plus or minus 5%. Batteries with slower degradation and smoother discharge curves make this feasible over years of use, not just at launch. Charging behavior further connects battery safety with security. Fast charging systems often push currents exceeding 5 amps and power levels above 25 watts, generating localized heat in both the battery and power management circuitry. PiPhone Fold is expected to limit sustained charging power to a lower range, reducing peak thermal stress and minimizing long-term component wear. This approach lowers the risk of voltage spikes and electromagnetic interference that can affect sensitive security components. It also reduces the frequency of thermal throttling events, which can interrupt system updates and security patches. Long-term battery health plays a role as well, Aluminum ion batteries with estimated lifespans of 2,000 to 3,000 charge cycles maintain more consistent output over time compared to lithium ion cells that often degrade noticeably after 600 to 800 cycles. This consistency helps ensure that security features remain reliable even after several years of daily use. The 2026 Pi Phone Fold isn't trying to win spec charts. It's aiming to solve real problems users live with every day battery aging, heat, and long-term device security. Whether it ends up using aluminum ion or solid-state batteries, the message is clear. Safer chemistry, more predictable performance, and fewer risks over time. So what matters more to you? Longer battery lifespan or higher peak performance? Would you accept slower charging if it meant better safety and data protection? And do you think smartphone makers should finally prioritize stability over headline specs? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If this breakdown helped, hit like, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive.